Activate Rainbow Zirconia. Initiate Soul Transfer. Welcome to version 3.5 of Project M. I'm really feeling it! Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to Paladin Plays Okami. Last episode, Project M came out! Yeah, rave party, rave lights! Yeah! Have a crowd cheering! D d cheer! But man, Project M came out, and like Zelda goes trashed completely with the nerf bat, but Game & Watch, he, he got some buffs, and some nerfs, and, and Ganondorf was given a float, and a reflector. If you don't play Project M, you can, uh, or if you don't know already, I, I'm really excited about Project M. And if you don't play Project M, play it, because it's exciting. Uh, and also, like, Mewtwo is no longer overpowered, and neither is Pit. And they did the 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 the, the design fixes, and they actually didn't. They did sort of a good job. But if you want to know my feelings on that, just go to Smashboards. Anyway, uh, what actually happened last episode was we talked to Queen Himiko. We finally confronted her. Well, confront, and we also broke into her palace to confront her. So yeah, that was a thing. Uh, but. Instead of being angry, she was actually very thankful that we did so because she gave us the border key that enables us to access n.ryoshimacoast.net, uh, also known as not Ryoshima Coast. There's no .net in there. I, I made that up. But yeah, we can access a new area, and the N does not stand for not. It stands for north. We are going to the second part of. Ryoshima Coast, because they can't have the entire area in one go because of loading issues. But yeah, we're going to be going there. It's so exciting. It's really cool. Uh, so let's go and talk to these two guards, who I'm going to name Abbott and Costello. Costello, what's up? What is it, pup? You want to cross the Boida? You got to speak to my colleague if you do. But Queen Himiko has ordered the border to be sealed off. I'm sorry, but I'd give up fire you, pup. <laughs> that that right there was my Costello accent. I I cannot do a good Costello voice. Uh, now for Abbott. Hey, that's the border key, a permit from Queen Himiko for crossing the border. What on earth are you doing with something like that? Rules are rules. Anyone bearing that is allowed to pass here. You must be on some very important business, I suppose. I'll open the gate straight away. That's really a poorly designed gate, because you can just walk right in between those spikes on the bottom. Like, it's not just its not just that a Matarasu could. That fat guard, Costello, could do it. Like, seriously, he's not really that fat. He's kind of, he's just kind of bulky, but he could, he could walk between there. Just very, very poor design choice. Maybe the, these guards are apparently, like, the, the elites, so anyone messing with them and trying to get through here would be killed before they could even blink. Or say, oh no, I'm dead, oh no. But I don't know. That's that's a question for another time, because we have a new area. North Ryushima Coast. So, I have nothing to sidetrack us. I have no trees to bloom. No side quests to complete. No fire burst things to collect. No guards to fry. I only have a new area, which I want to go into. Northern Yurush <laughs> Ryushima Coast. I almost said Yuroshima, which... Or, Hir or Hiroshima, or something like that. But no, this is Hiroshima. Now then, where is this Dragonian Domain? Sounds like something that might be under the sea. But I'd rather not have to get wet if I could help it. And it's not because I'm afraid of that pesky water dragon. It's just because you swim so slow that you practically put me to sleep. I think it's more because you are afraid to take baths. Like, that's probably the root of the issue. That... Don't don't deny it. You have like agoraphobia. It, is that the fear of water? I'm pretty sure that's fear of water. That's why I used it. Past pal, uh, future pal. Sorry. Uh, tell, say yes or no. Is that the fear of water? And then don't. And then post the fear of water. <laughs> I have no idea where I was going with that. Bonjour, Matarasu. I trust you enjoyed your little adventure through that hole. The city's air sure has cleared up thanks to you. Just ignore him and maybe he'll go away. Come on, Ami. Why so grumpy today? Didn't you notice the view? I used to be it used to be one big curse zone out here, but yours truly pulled off one of those great divine interventions. What? I really wanted to wait for you two, but I couldn't stand leaving the area in such a cursed state. 
Ah, the sea off Hiroshima coast is back to its beautiful self. Is this what they mean by prettier than a picture, my little friend? What's that supposed to mean, pretty boy? Oh, it's just a little something I overheard somewhere. So, my little bouncing friend, you're a wandering artist, no? I want to see how beautiful your paintings are. Just one would be fine. Pretty please? My art's none of your business. Why should I show you anyway? You really are in a bad mood today. You're not one of those imposters who claims to be an artist, but could not paint a picture of his life dependent on it, are you? What? Oh, nothing. It is just something some old man mentioned. His grandson, who is also his apprentice, ran away from home. And he took the old man's painting of a wood sprite with him. So, do you think he might claim to have painted that masterpiece? I mean, there are so many unscrupulous people out there. Sometimes it is hard to spot an imposter in the wide world of art. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I don't know what in the world you're talking about. Now make like a tree and leave. Or you can stick around if you'd rather get sliced and diced. Excusez-moi. You do not have to get all caught under the collar. It would appear I have struck at a raw nerve. Well, since I have no prophecies or anything for you this time, I suppose I'll be on my merry way. Au revoir, baby. And he soon has nothing to say on the matter. It, it really does seem that that uh, Waka struck a raw nerve. Man, you'd think Isun, in all of his gift of gabness, he would say something about that, but no, he's completely silent. Huh. So yeah, uh, North Ryoshima Coast, it's a little bit in shambles, judging by that staircase over there, and by the fact that enemies will attack us in broad daylight on the main path. This is the Thunder Nose. So, the Battle of the Thunderdose is as simple as the Windu Mirror. By using the Veil of Mist, you can shut down literally everything this enemy has to offer. Except for its Demon Fangs, because they are ours. <laughs> Was that simple and fast, or what? And also, why did we get a zero yen? That's not right. That's not cool. I did so well. That battle lasted pretty much like 15 seconds. I should have gotten something for that. I feel really cheated right now. Like, you guys don't even know how cheated I feel. That's, that's wrong. I should get money for that. Huh. Stupid thunder nose. Uh, so anyway, uh, to the right of that staircase, right here on the map, is a buried chest which contains the first stray bead of northern Ryoshima coast. There we are. And right over here contains... I should have used my double jump there. There is... Come on. Get on the lily pad of Mount Tarasu. Thank you. Uh, we're going to ignore that clover for a second because we have some cats. So, I've kind of thought up a new policy concerning areas like this. You remember that one time in Ryushin Coast where I'd forgotten to get the clamshells that, that litter the, uh, the shore? And I did that during an episode? Oh, hi, cats. Oh, you're so cute. I would love, I'd kind of like to have a cat. But anyway, uh, you guys remember that. Well, I, I've kind of, I've kind of mended my ways on that. I, I just, I thought about it. I thought it's not very intuitive for you guys to watch. It's, it's so redundant. And it's not like these chests are necessary for 100%. So I feel like... I shouldn't go out of my way to look for chests as I get a, a hit with chest like this. I feel like I should do this in the end slate of a new area. Like that's a good that's a good pl place to uh, to do something like uh, of that nature, and that way you know you guys won't be you guys won't be plagued with something like that. So I feel like I'm going to do it that way from now on because it just it, it it wasn't working before. I didn't get any comments or anyone saying that they didn't like it because my comment, my viewers are really, really nice. It, it just something, though, that I personally had a problem with it. So I am no longer doing that. At least I'm trying not to from here on out. I will be getting chests that contain important collectibles like uh, stray beads or sun fragments. Well, there are no buried sun fragments, but stray beads, that, that kind of thing. Whoa. Whoa. 
The water dragon, guys. Do you see that? The water dragon's over there. Okay, that kind of freaked me out. That's... Okay. Sidetrack. Seriously, water dragon is right over there. Okay. So, this area seems to be where he is when he's not terrorizing Isun, um, Ami, and Rao. Okay, uh, now I know. Uh, there's a building here which I'd like to go into now that I've gotten that whole chest thing off my chest. And uh, in here we have a carbon copy of Yami's Restaurant, complete with cat waitresses. Oh, er, welcome. Uh, we're happy to see anyone here at the moment, even a dog. There just isn't any fresh fish available these days. Uh, that is a typo. It should be, there just aren't any fresh fish available these days. Waitress, you're slacking. We've hardly got any customers at all. We're well known for our chef, Mr. Umi's fresh fish dishes. I hope you'll get to try one of them. Me too, girl. Me too. Also, that was a weird way of addressing her. Goodness gracious, whatever will I do? Wow. He is a... He is a cat man. Like, cat man away. Look at his eyes. Those are the freakiest thing I've ever seen. And he's holding a butcher knife, okay? Even I, the great chef Umi, can't cook without ingredients. I'm at the end of my rope. Man, you're creepy. Seriously, dude. You have some messed up stuff going on with your eyes. Like, this isn't even something where I'm like, it's impolite. But, man... This guy's messed up. He is legit creepy. The stuff of nightmares right here. I mean, he has a cool name, but... Ugh, that is just nightmarish. Listen, doggy, can I bend your furry little ear? <laughs> Everything he says, I'm just going to immediately associate with being really creepy. There's no good fish here lately, so I cannot cook without fish. I feel like I'm starting to lose my touch. I've had enough. There's got to be something around here that that make a good meal. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Hey, what are you looking at? Hmm. No, it'd be too much effort getting all that fur off of you. I need some juicy fruits of the sea to show what I can do. And they must be fresh. It's an insult to the sea and to the fish if the dish goes wrong. Now, I don't know what the story is with the water dragon, but I do know that the fish I need are not being caught. Still, I've asked the fishermen. I cannot do any more than that. I guess all I can do is sit tight and wait for some good news. Uh, also, whoa! He's sta- <laughs> He's stabbing himself through the throat. <laughs> He's stabbing himself through the throat. That is... <laughs> like, seriously, he's stabbing himself through the throat, guys. Look at that. <laughs> I do not know what the story is with the water. Okay, he says the same thing. And he stabs himself through the throat again. <laughs> okay. That guy was creepy before, but now that's just funny. I mean, he it's ob it's a little bit creepier because he's stabbing himself through the throat, but man, that is kind of funny. And also he's a stage? Apparently he's one of the mythical dancing chefs that I've I've he heard tell of in these parts. But seriously, he has a stage and he has some foreshadowing the walls. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I will leave you, sir, because you are creepy as um uh bend round fused with sonic.exe and uh imperfect cell there you go okay now that we're out of that creepy 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 place uh let's continue on shall we while looking in the river because i would like to know if there yes there are okay i'm just kind of taking notes for myself for the end slate where they're where berry chests are where they aren't because man we're going to be getting a lot of buried chests. We're going to be getting an entire area's worth. Uh, I think that I will be getting, like, it's not a straight up rule that I won't be getting buried chests in an episode, but it's not something where I'm going to be looking straight, like, consciously for them. 
if there's a clover and there's a buried chest right next to it, I'm not going to just get the clover and not the buried chest. I will get both, but I'm not going to be going like uh, along the river getting chests or along the sea getting getting clams. I'm just not going to be doing that anymore. And wow, we're we're almost we're going to be able probably this episode to uh, upgrade our wallet like I wanted to do. That is very exciting to me. And over here on the beach is a poor child with a bucket for pants getting beaten by little kids. What are those, with sticks? No, okay, with assorted objects. He's being beaten by assorted objects. The, the little girl on the left is beating him with her handkerchief and the boys are like slapping him with sticks. Okay. And he has a spear, but he's not using it. Hey, Urashima, so you got taken by that porka guy, right? And he took you to the to a castle at the bottom of the sea? If that's true, where's that porka now, huh? Yeah, where's he now? Yeah, or yeah, where is he? My best my best impression of an orc. What are they talking about? It ain't Porka, it's Orca. He's an emissary of the Dragon Palace. And he only comes for people worthy of going there. Yeah, right. Didn't your mom teach you not to tell lies? Let's get him. Yeah. Get him. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Only cowards gang up on people like that. Hey, who's that? Good timing. I'm bored of playing with him now. Playing. I'd hate to see them when they're actually taking things seriously. Come on, let's go play somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, let's go play. We're all jerks and we sound like Gary from Pokemon. What do you think those little brats were talking about, Ami? What do they mean by a castle at the bottom of the sea? I don't know, but what I do know is this guy... This guy, man, this guy. Hey, kid, how, are, how long are you planning on staying like that? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's wrong, kid? Hey, kid. Hello? Anyone home? Hello? Hello? What are we gonna do? Any bright ideas for a ball? Uh, speaking of bright ideas, uh, I do not want it to be nighttime, so daytime, but other ideas. Uh, he's probably unconscious, so water. Preferably seawater. In hit or wind. Oh, okay, wind did it. A, a gentle breeze woke him from his unconsciousness, and he probably has a concussion. Hmm? I must have dozed off. I reckon I, I do that a lot on the beach. Oh, interesting thing. He actually responds to any sort of stimuli I've found. So, water, power slash, cherry bomb, whatever, whatever floats your boat, turns your crank, and stops the tears at night, that will work to wake up Urashima. Or Bucket Boy, as I want to call him. Maybe uh, Isun's probably going to come up with that name himself. Fisherman Urashima. I don't know who y'all are, but I sure appreciate you waking me up. I, when I ain't got the strength to go home, sometimes I nap here. You, you're, you were sleeping? Bah, you really had us worried, all hunched over like that. You're not sick or injured, are you? No, sir. I'm as fit as a fiddle, I am. Just taking a nap on the beach is all. Oh. Well, that's a relief. Anyway, what was all that about a castle at the bottom of the sea? Would you mind filling us in? No one ever believes me about that. There's a land under the sea here in Ryushima. The Dragonians and Sea God live there in the Dragon Palace. The, sea, the Dragon Palace is an amazing place. Real purdy. I haven't been there in a dog's age, though. Dragon Palace. Land of the Dragonians? They're the ones controlling the water dragon. Himiko said so. So, just how does one get down to that palace, Bucket Boy? Oh, he did. He did come up with that name. How could a chubby, er, big-boned lad like you elude that water dragon and make it all the way down to the bottom of the sea? The water dragon was much nicer in those days, but you can't just choose to go to the Dragon Palace, you see? Only worthy people can go. If you're worthy, an emissary called Orca comes and gets you. 
So this orca dude is an emissary from the Dragon Palace. And just how do you get to meet this guy anyway? Now that's one question that ain't eat so easy to answer. Y'all see that pier over yonder? Pier 9, okay, yeah. That pier's where I met Orca. I was looking out to the sea when he came with the morning sun. Orca only comes if you're worthy of the Dragon Palace, I reckon. And he says the same thing, okay. First of all, that voice is perfect for him. And second of all, I had no idea I had the powers within me to make such a voice like that. Like, seriously, that's the best, that's the best Southern voice I ever made because, like, it was something that I grew up with back in the South when I lived in the South, even though I was born and raised in Washington in the North, so, and I never met anyone from the South that had this thick a Southern accent, except maybe people on TV, but that doesn't really count because it just doesn't. And I'm going to have some some deep fried Coca-Cola. Because that's what us southern guys like to do. And watch some NASCAR. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm probably offending any like southern viewer I have. Okay, let's go ahead and feed these pigs. And then I'll go inside his humble, very, a lot of emphasis on a humble abode. Uh, to see what exactly he, uh, he subscribes to. What sort of humor he subscribes to. Maybe he... He had Martha Stewart decorated on the inside. I don't know. Okay, 210 praise, and now we can go inside of his house. Uh, very humble, okay. And his mom, okay. Well, well, ain't you a nice looking wolf? Why does snow? What are you doing in an old beach house like this then? I ain't got nothing for you, but you can rest here if you like. Okay, thank you. Hiroshima is only always out fishing on his own. He must be lonely without any friends, poor thing. I feel terrible for him, but there's nothing I can do. It makes me so mad being helpless. Okay. I don't know where your husband is, but you definitely have a <laughs> good upstanding son. Now that's what I call a fish. Even if it is only for show. Is that just... Yeah, that's just a drawing of a fish. Okay. Wow, they even dry their own seaweed. Apparently, that's like an admirable trait in Nippon. If if you if you dry your own seaweed, people, you have Isun's approval. Okay, I don't want to go to the pier and uh, do anything there just yet because we have yet to finish exploring this area. I would like to instead go up here on this plateau because there's something for it. Whoa, what was that? You see that? Oh, there. Yoichi! Buddy! Yoichi! Well, there's a face I know. It's been a while, Poochie. Hey, you're that apple guy who was over by the big drawbridge. We didn't see you in the, in the city. What are you doing here? Well, I had a, a complete change of heart since then. I gave up my old job and set, on a, set off on a journey to hone my skills. This suits me much better than my formal duties back in the city. Nippon's best archer and his bow, Golden, Fi Golden Fire, are still in top form. Here, Poochie, why not have a bite to eat and relax a bit? What, is that some sort of, sort of training to hone your skill? You got it. See that fruit hanging on the tree over by that little island? Oh, that's the garden sapling. That's what I'm aiming for. I'm going right back to the basics. But that fruit is as hard as stone. Nothing damages it, even if I hit it dead center a hundred times. It sounds strange, but that's what makes it such a good target. Here, Poochie, why not relax and have a bite to eat? Let me talk to you. What? Is that some sort of... Oh, he says the same... Okay. You, you're... Throw me... Throw, I, I always say this. But throw me a bone. Say something else. Okay, you're not interested in that. That's fine. I'll just hit you right as you're about. Wait. I'll just hit you right as you're about to make a shot. Boom! Haha! <laughs> you got a hard head on you, Pooch. Uh, that's all he has to say. Okay. Well, just like before, if you take a hint with that stone fruit and water his arrow, you can make his arrow 
golden fire literally be golden fire, except it's water. And you can water that fruit. What in the world? My, my arrow. It just made that fruit ripen. These arrows must be possessed or something. Oh no. I, I just remembered. I got to be somewhere. Or, where was it again? Uh, never, never mind. I gotta go. Cannot. I cannot be late. And just for the record, I am not running away. I am not scared. Well, goodbye and good luck. Man, I love it. I love that guy. Mostly because I love the voice for him. It's like a newscaster. I feel so cool because it's like, today in the news, uh, the, uh, there's a new plane that's called the Golden Fire, and it can travel at the speed of light. And this message is sponsored by... Let's see, what, what does that liquid look like? Hmm. Uh, ooh! Cream Soda Incorporated. That totally looks like cream soda. Okay, uh, we can go ahead and feed these cows. Now, this berry chest right here is something I want to grab. I don't just want to pass it up because it contains a stray bead. And down there is a hard dig spot. It's not your typical hard dig spot because it contains a cave, or it covers a cave. And inside the cave is another Nirvana cave. Uh, we can we can bloom all this stuff just like before, and although unlike before, there are not monkeys in here. There are a bunch of bunnies, and two bunnies that don't, or one bunny that doesn't really care about our existence. So we can so we can bloom all this stuff and get a lot of praise because that's really the only thing you come in these caves for. You know, you get rewards, but compare. Oh, I carried a bunny with me. Aw, it it's cute. It's a bunny, but yeah. Uh, with with the praise, praise is really the most valuable resource in this game. I mean, if you have praise, you have health, you have ink, you have everything you want. You can even get money from it. So it's just really useful to get praise more than anything else. Come on, praise. There it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, feed all these bunnies and get a ton of praise from that. Thirty praise to be exact, and we can now upgrade our wallet, like I said I would do, because I am a man of my word, at least I try to be. Actually, there are. I I mean I, I realize that there are different patterns on these, but I didn't I thought they were just different colors of the same pattern, but they're not. That's cool. They're actually different patterns. I like this one the best because it looks like a snake. Okay, so yeah. Next I'll probably upgrade my health. Uh, and then I'll probably work down from there. Once, once my health is completely full, like once I have, full, uh, once I have all the units of health that upgrading can get me, then I'll move. Only then will I move down to ink, then to my astro pouch, then to my purse. Okay, and actually the praise is a good indicator of how much, uh, how far we've gotten in the game, because if you think about it. Uh, if you if you think about it, since I'm doing every side quest in the game, I'm getting almost all the praise available to me. Some side quests uh, rate you differently on how well you do, like the the fairy quest in Seon City. But you know it is a good indicator for that kind of thing. So yeah, you guys can tell how far we are in the game. So we're a little bit over halfway. Is that insane? Like episode what is it? 46, 47. We're we're just about. We're probably like two-thirds through the game. That's insane. Okay, uh, we got a stray bead, and now we can leave. There's nothing for us except for pots and pots with food and money. Now we can leave. Beam me up, Isun. Uh, let's see. Next, I uh, don't... Oh, there's a, there's a thing here. Now I actually want to show this battle in this uh, in this uh, the Demon Gate because this is an enemy that we have yet to face before, but I've already shown the bio. These are Halo Guardians, so I want to go and kill them. I mean, I didn't have to show this battle because they're just copies of Blue Imps, but 
Oh, come on. I'm probably going to miss the floor finisher on this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I, I missed both. Okay, well, their floor finishers were Cherry Bomb. I just missed it because Cherry Bomb is really awkward to use as a floor finisher. Also, the Executioner guard Guardian. I'm not showing the enemy bios because I've already showed them before. Its floor finisher is also Cherry Bomb, though I missed it again. I missed it, it too. Uh, Cherry Bomb is just so awkward as a floral finisher. It's just really, really awkward, and I don't, I ju don't like using it as a floral finisher. Okay, 30 praise, which, wow, 30 praise. And a unique tree that is found, like, nowhere else in the game. That's pretty. It's really pretty. Like, we, we see, most of the time when we see trees, at least full-grown trees, not kind of skimpy ones like those, they're cherry trees. But to see a, a full-bodied green tree is just kind of refreshing. It just, it's just really, really springish. Or summer-ish, rather, because spring means flowers. And also, with this tree came a little girl. Oh, hello, doggy. Have you come to see Catcall Tower? No, I can't. <laughs> I came to be shoved around by a rabbit. Amaterasu is completely out of... Oh, no, she's not completely out of frame, though she's about to be. Yep, now Amaterasu is completely out of frame. That is, that is hilarious. The rabbits, the rabbits make a cameo appearance. You can hear it from here. That cat crying. It sounds so sad. The tower was built on that island a long time ago. They say there's a huge cat statue at the top. It used to be a real cat before. But after that, it lived a really long time. It, or, Yeah, after it lived a really long time, it turned into a god. Then it built a tower to watch over the world from the top. But the tower was so high, the cat got scared and couldn't come down. It was up there for so long that it turned to stone in the end, and it's been up there all alone ever since. That's why it cries like that, even now. Isn't that just the saddest story you've ever heard? That is really sad. It's really sad. Okay, especially because right over there, if I can control the camera, is the tower. And if we're quiet, if I'm quiet for a few moments, You'll actually hear what she was talking about. You can hear the cat crying, which makes the story just seem so much more real. You know, because it is real. Well, it's not real in life, but it's real in the game. You know, it's not something where it's, it is a story, a legend. It's something that you can actually see, you can actually hear, and it's just very, it's its out of place, yes, a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit. It's its out of the blue, that's a, that's a better way of saying it. It's something that you wouldn't expect to, to listen to and to, uh, to discover a little girl with no other purpose than to tell this story and you know the story is true in the game so it's just kind of sobering get up there <sighs> okay fine what what is less sobering though are those bunnies that pushed Amaterasu out of frame that was hilarious that was pretty funny okay uh, from from the tree is a fruit containing 30 praise I'll gladly take it, because that is 30 praise, and that is exciting. And a chest containing a Traveler's Charm. And a Clover containing 10 praise, calling it now. And an island over there. Which, yeah, you guys remember that island? You guys can see that there's a face on that island. You know what that island is? Oni Island. Uh, you could you could see a depiction of it when um, when Himiko was was describing what it was, and that is it. We can see Oni Island from here. That is just it's foreboding. You know we've seen the water dragon before, we have, but that is more foreboding. 
Because the water dragon, we know we can't kill him. He's not something that we should defeat because he's someone that we need. We need to try and tame the water dragon, Himiko said. But that, that is our goal. Oni Island, and it's right there, staring at us. And next time in Okami, we're going to take steps to try and reach that island. First off, we're going to try and reach the Dragon Palace by uh, by approaching Orca. And yeah, uh, we already have instructions on how to reach Orca. So all we have to do is apply those instructions. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you liked this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. I will see you guys next time for when I drown. About to drown. Okay. For another Pal Plays Okami. And also, in the end slate, I will be uh, I will be running through this area grabbing any berry chest I find. That includes the clams. So, yeah. See you guys then.